Imagine having 1,600 recommendations, 1,500 recommendations from YouTube, and all of a sudden your videos struggle to get up to 200 recommendations. Painful, right? We all know that you cannot get views in your videos if YouTube is not recommending your videos. That is, if YouTube is not pushing your videos, if you are not getting higher impressions. How will people see your videos and how will they click to your videos to watch? How will you accumulate watch hours? So I will be sharing two things that I did that made my videos not to be recommended by YouTube. So the number one thing that I did was that I deleted some of my videos. Hold on. I know that you guys will be like, yeah, we have heard about this before. Now, let's see. I have a lot of things to say about deleting of videos. Okay? Yeah. I deleted some of my videos. Those videos I deleted, I privatized those videos. Like I privatized those videos. Like for like one month, those videos are on um, private. Okay, these are videos that I uploaded, and I feel like I don't like this video. Within the period, I I mean within the the two days that I uploaded this video, I feel like this video is not giving. <clears throat> Do you understand? I feel like this video is not okay. Okay, maybe because of the it has no lightning. It's not bright. It's not okay to me. After uploading it, I noticed a lot of things. So I decided to privatize the video. Okay? A particular video like that. I decided to privatize the video. Yeah. Take note. This video did not have... This video did not accumulate watch hour for me. This video did not accumulate any subscriber for me. This video only accumulate like 20 views. Okay? Or better still 25 to 30 views for me. I also deleted my live stream live stream when i mean live stream this live stream did not accumulate any watch hour these are just let's say sprinkles live stream that i did i did not see any viewers you know any people so i just um let's say like a, a minute a minute live stream or so it's not even up to two minutes i privatized it and decided to start all over again to start another live stream again so these are you know content that i've already privatized okay i've already privatized this content for like one month okay so i just decided okay let me just delete this because i needed my channel like my channel if i move to my youtube studio everything will be well organized so i decided to privatize those videos that are on private like i decided to delete sorry i decided to delete those video those videos that i kept on private i decided to delete them so that my video my channel will be well organized each time i go to my youtube studio i'm scrolling to see my videos and my live stream so that everything will be well organized for me like if i'm seeing my studio you know stuff like that so you guys i never knew that if i delete any of these videos or any of this um content that is gonna affect my channel in any way you guys immediately i deleted it like in my next upload i find out that I no longer get recommendations yes normally i do get recommendation like i told you guys 1600 recommendation as a small youtuber like my videos which really struggles to get up to 200 recommendations from youtube which is very very bad and you know if youtube is not recommending your videos you don't get views how do you get views like how do you get views okay if you check your impressions and your impressions that youtube is not you know pushing your videos it is not reaching a wider audience how do you get the views so the second thing that i did that really affected my channel i think this is the first thing i did this is the first setting that i did before i deleted my videos okay this is this all these things are happening in the same week i don't know if you guys get me all these things that i'm saying here are happening the same week okay i actually did this second thing before deleting my videos so please avoid avoid using top hashtags what did i say avoid using top hashtags because when you use top hashtags my dear your videos will not be seen your videos as a small youtuber will not be seen youtube will first of all push out those top top youtubers that's those top top videos that are relating to that top hashtags before they will even People before people will not see your videos. Like if you are not getting millions of views, how will how will you how will you be using top hashtags that people will not even see your videos? Like oh my god! Now you guys hold on. I know you'll be curious. What do you mean by using as top hashtags? Guys, I watched a video here on YouTube where a YouTuber is saying that we should we trust uh, this this YouTuber is a trusted YouTuber. Like I've been watching her videos. She talks on YouTube groups. 
this is to tell you not everything you hear or see in this youtube street that you are going to believe or put in practice because some of them will even affect your channel so i went ahead to my youtube settings i want to be showing all these things on the screen i went ahead to my youtube settings to do the necessary changes this person said we should do she said in any niche you are doing find the top top youtubers she used herself as an example that she she because she's talking about youtube good she looked for video iq to body all these top top youtubers she went ahead and put their names in this very particular place i'm going to be showing that place on the screen that is if you go to your chrome version of your youtube studio you click on your settings that place that is written channel you click on channel you're going to be seeing this very particular place that i'm going to drop on the screen so that place is where you're going to add the necessary tags on what your channel is all about do you understand those places you are going to add tags on what your channel is all about you guys the tags that i added there was doing pretty well like was doing pretty well i never added it uh, any tag that you know a top youtuber tag or whatever my tags were doing pretty well as a small youtuber that i am okay then after watching that video i decided to delete some of the tags to add the tags this person said we should add she said look for top youtubers in your niche my dear people that has 10 million subscribers 2 million subscribers over 100,000 subscribers we should look for them and add their names in the in that very particular box when you add their names about five persons or six persons add their names there when people are searching for these people that they will also see your own my there is a total lie when people are searching for these people they will never see your own because YouTube will first of all push the names of those people that are also top YouTubers like them, people that have so many subscriber counts like them, and all of that. They will not push your own. Your own, you are still, you, you, you don't even have, uh, uh, who are you? You don't you, you even have, none of your videos have even gone viral. Like, as a small YouTuber you are. YouTuber that has like 1,000 subscribers, or even below subscribe, or even 2,000 subscribers. Uh, and you are using hashtags that, 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 that you are not supposed to use, like... God, this is the worst mistake. When I was doing this, I was like, this is not right. But because I, I trusted this very particular YouTuber, thinking that it's going to work for me, because this person made me to believe that from her video, that she this is what she's doing, and it's working for her, and that is the reason why she went viral. So guys, I did that, and it became worse. Like, I noticed that, I'm going to be dropping everything on the screen. I noticed that, you know that if, you, if a video is going to perform well, what will be in the top on how viewers find your video is going to be browse features. My video used to be like, if I check my YouTube studio, I'll be seeing browse features as the first thing that will be there, like on top. But after making these changes, the next upload that I did, browse features was not the first thing there. I was seeing uh, suggesting videos or something like that, content suggestions. I'm going to be dropping it on the screen because I've forgotten. This is this what, what I was seeing on the, on the, on, on my, this is what I used to see, like right now, on my YouTube studio. Okay, so, the second thing that will also come up will not be YouTube search. And when YouTube search is the second or first in the list, that means that video is not going to perform well. To compare when browse feature is the top on how viewers found your videos. Do you understand? If you know what I mean, you know, you understand. So I'm going to be dropping it on the screen so, so that you guys can understand where, what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. So you guys, please, as a small YouTuber, when I mean small YouTuber, when your video has never gone viral, like none of your videos have gone viral, you are still a small YouTuber, okay? Once your video has not gone viral, you are still a small YouTuber. So please, avoid all of this. Find out what works for you and do what works for you because right now I've actually deleted the names of those people, those people, those top YouTubers I added in my display in that very particular place. I've deleted their names and I added back what I feel like. I've even forgotten the normal thing that I added that was there before, but I had to delete the names of those people that I added there because that was the major thing. That was the major reason why my recommendation reduced. Do you understand? So when you're not getting recommendation, you see, you cannot be getting views. Now, how do you reach your watch hour if you are not even yet monetized like me? How do you now reach your watch hours if you're not getting the views? You see? So please, let us avoid this. If you're a small YouTuber, please avoid these two mistakes. Find out what is working for you and stick to what is working for you. Do not say, okay, let me imitate this channel or let me imitate these people. Oh my God. 
find out what works for your channel and just keep on doing it as long as you are not violating the youtube community guideline please just adhere to what works for your channel okay and pray to god for one of your videos to go viral okay i hope this video was helpful if this video was helpful please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to be sharing my experience here on youtube in this my channel okay